Hi Church family, welcome to St Luke's News. As you partner with us in Gospel Growth this week, be assured that your continued partnership in the Gospel is helping us to fulfil our church vision of sharing the good news of Jesus. Our church computer died recently and we've been able to purchase a new, more powerful computer. This will enable us to keep sharing the good news of Jesus online through our Zoom live stream, which we've been running for almost a year now. Some things coming up at St. Luke's. Join us today for our revival prayer meeting as we live out prayerful dependence. These prayer meetings are not only wonderful times of drawing near to Jesus, but they're also great opportunities for us to learn how to pray as we listen to others. Our revival prayer meetings start at 11.30 using the Zoom link on the church website. We've moved our Christianity Explored course back a few weeks because of the uncertainty of lockdown. It will still run during our 10 a.m. gathering in the green room. I urge you to pray that the Lord would show you someone you can invite when we meet again soon. And when we can meet in person again, we'll also be running our belonging course if you're new to St. Luke's and want to find out more about who we are, where we're heading under God, and how you can partner with us, we'd love you to join us. Belonging will run for three Sundays starting at 12.30 p.m. Finally, this Sunday we're remembering our mission partnership with NCNC. New Churches for New Communities plants Anglican churches in the new suburbs of Sydney. Here's a short video featuring Bishop Peter Lynn speaking about the enormous gospel needs which NCNC is working to address. Yeah, thanks, Dom. Um, uh, when we look at the growth areas of Sydney, uh, we're, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, I spent 17 years in the Fairfield Bosley Park Parish. I was a parish of 60,000 people. The Fairfield local government area is 200,000 people. Uh, and there are three Anglican churches mm -hmm. in there. And uh, uh, really felt the frustration of not having enough gospel workers on the ground, not even having enough churches uh, on the ground. Uh, and so when you look at the new growth areas of Sydney, we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. If you take the northwest and southwest growth areas together, uh, uh, we're, we're talking eventually about 1.5, 1.6 million people there. Uh, and, and currently, the, the churches that we, that we have in those areas, uh, uh, I think there's, something, there's a few in the north and there's a few in the southwestern area, and that's it. Hundreds of thousands of people will move in, and there won't be churches for them to go to, right. where they can, uh, where the gospel can go out from, and they can come into to hear about Jesus. You made quite a stark comparison in your speech between the way Linfield on the North Shore is serviced yeah. and the way churches in that new growth area are going to be the area. Do you want to just give us that? Yes. Sorry for everyone in Linfield. Yeah, I, uh, I, I grew I... up around there, so <laughs> I, I, I grew up. I grew up in that area, uh, but. But Linfield has three churches, Linfield, West Linfield, East Linfield. Uh, and the area that they cover uh, is about 15,000 people mm -hmm. uh, or 18,000, depending on whose figures you look at. Uh, by comparison, the Aerotropolis, the, the new Bradfield city mm -hmm. uh, in southwest Sydney around the airport, uh, just in kind of the immediate area around it, say within uh, 20 kilometres of it, there's over 300,000, I think I said in my in my address 300, there's something like 310, 312,000 people that will move into just that that area. And we have no plan for churches. Uh, well, we have Oran Park, we have Leppington, and we have Hoxton Park, just on the outskirts of that mm -hmm. area. Uh, they're, they're between 18 to 20 kilometres from the centre of Bradfield. So it's 300,000 people, uh, and we have three churches in that area, and we have areas like Linfield, and I can point to other areas in the diocese uh, that have similar ratios to Linfield. Um, 
and and so it's just really a question of well you know we put three churches in that area to reach 15,000 people or 18,000 people what are we going to do for that 300,000 people just in that particular area of Sydney and and currently uh, we've, we've got no we've got nothing in place That's all from us. We look forward to seeing you in person soon at one of our gatherings.